what are the changes on the engine of uh, the F-2012? Uh, the engine of uh, F-2012 is basically an evolution of the engine of last year. According to a regulation, it's not possible to work directly on engine performance, but the installation of the engine in the car was a really challenging work. We have done it in order to help our aero people to design the best car, and also we have tried to develop the engine, trying to allow much more extreme uh, temperature, working temperature of the engine in terms of oil and water. New rules on the exhaust gases. What, what was the work done during the winter time on the engine mapping? We have worked a lot on engine mapping during winter. It is clear that the 2012 uh, configuration is clearly very limiting in terms of uh, air advantage that you can get out from exhaust. So there is no longer a chance to uh, have uh, um, post-combustion on exhaust. The mapping allowance is very limited, but anyway, there is an interest of having some effect of, uh, of engine exhaust. So we have worked on this according to the new regulation and what is uh, uh, reported in TD uh, 36 of the FIA technical uh, regulation. Um, the position of exhaust as well are defined in the car, and this will be a further contribution to limit the importance of exhaust on aero performance. And what was the work done on the care side? On the care side, we have worked uh, intensively to uh, improve uh, care's efficiency and to reduce weight. The concept is the same as 2011. I mean that the CARES will be a compact, uh, um, constrained solution on the, um, 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 below the tank of the uh, engine. And this basically is for us the best solution in terms of safety. On the same way, we try to improve efficiency of the system and to reduce the weight. The layout of the car uh, has imposed any specific challenge on the engine side? Yeah, the layout of the car is quite extreme, probably more extreme than 2011, and this for the engine is a quite a good challenge. So we have to work intensively to be sure that this engine is installation is good and fitting with the new car, and we have to modify some part related to the engine installation. This has been done uh, together with our aero department people, and I hope we have done, uh, we have given our contribution to the car performance. Fuel and lubricants, any news on this side? On fuel and lubricant side is one of the most uh, interesting areas to work on, because we have uh, some freedom to develop. And on this, we try to improve performance, working on fuel side, but also to reduce fuel consumption. On lubricant side, we try to work uh, both on performance, but especially on stability of performance. Our engine has to do two and three races, uh, and it's very important that on the third race, you can uh, take into account a performance very similar to the first race. Electronics is a topic which is not very often under the spotlight. Uh, can you talk about uh, uh, this argument? I'm, uh, I'm very happy to discuss uh, little bit about electronics. Our electronic department is doing a really work, uh, very important work. You can easily stop a car if you have an electronic problem. Every year that you have a new car, all the electronic uh, cabling layout is completely different. Sometimes it implies extremely challenging solution to be developed. So I'm very happy to say that the work of this uh, year, in this year car has been extremely important very interesting. We try to limit the weight because we have several kilos of electronic components in the car, but as well to improve the reliability of the component. In these years, uh, you don't have only the usual challenge of the, the, the car, the new car, but also a bigger one, which is the engine uh, for 2014. Where is Ferrari on this project at the moment? The 2014 regulation is a completely uh, new regulation and for powertrain development is an extremely interesting challenge. It's not just a question of designing a new engine, that is already a very interesting job. It's completely a new uh, recovery system, much more important of electric component in the car, and as well uh, there is a complete way of handling the engine in the car. This implies not only a new design, but also to invest on new facility, develop new facility for the new system. 
We have started already to work on this. We will have our first V6 engine running during uh, 2012. So it's a good, a very interesting work and Ferrari Mechois will be ready to compete with the other in 2014.